Joe Biden will be unnerved as the British Army could shrink to the size of the U.S. Special Operations Command, with an expert stating it will become a real problem if he cannot rely on it. Defense Secretary Ben Wallace will make a statement in the Commons later today, unveiling the Defense Command paper. It will outline the shape and size of the armed forces for the coming decade and comes after the release of the Integrated Review on Foreign and Security Policy last week. The size of the army is expected to be reduced by about 10,000 soldiers, as the UK focuses more on artificial intelligence and cyber warfare, but that number, reported to be around 70,000 soldiers, would put the UK on par with the US Special Operations Command, USSOCOM, which, according to a report by the Congressional Research Service in February, consists of over 70,000 active duty, reserve, National Guard, and civilian personnel. There were more than 80,000 soldiers in the UK's regular army in January 2021, already down from 86,080 in October 2015. And further cuts are set to unnerve allies, including those across the pond like US President Joe Biden, a country the UK has enjoyed a special relationship with since the days of World War II. According to the Financial Times, U.S. military officials said privately that, while they value U.K. special forces and are impressed by Britain's growing cyber expertise, troop numbers still matter. Michael Shurkin, a security expert at the RAND Corporation, stated that the U.S.'s historical military cooperation with the British is based on a recognition of its quality. He said, it's not just that we expect the British to show up when we call, we really want the British to show up when we call, because they're good. He added that, it becomes a real problem, if suddenly a trusted ally can no longer provide the troop numbers it once could. The challenge now is said to be in how ministers present the cuts to the Biden administration. Jack Watling, a land warfare specialist at the Royal United Services Institute think tank, said, how well it goes down with our allies depends very much on how honest we are about what we're doing.